Kofi, my brother, thank you for that warm welcome and that incredibly kind introduction. Good day, everyone. The Open Society Foundations is proud to support AAI and its longstanding mission of education for liberation. Today's conference is especially in tune with our organization's goals and our investments in education and equality. Consistent with today's focus on K-12, we at OSF have long invested in education, including in the lives of young children who have faced systemic discrimination. Our commitments to social justice and equity at the global, regional, and country levels are a source of pride for OSF, but we also know that change-making takes many and varied forms. OSF, like the Africa American Institute, believes in advancing racial justice by recovering knowledge about Africa in our efforts to promote equity. Our restitution initiative, for example, goes well beyond the classroom, but seeks to shape the collective curriculum of our world by correcting past wrongs to create a just future. From fellowships and connecting teachers across Africa to early childhood education and higher ed, such as the Open Society University Network, we believe in investing in people to help build the transformative change we need in a world which necessarily includes black student achievement and voice in defining a just and sustainable future. I know these issues are central to this conference's agenda, but the theme of the conference, Teaching Africa, a 21st Century Anti-Racist Agenda, really resonates with me personally in at least two profound ways. The first stems from my own origins, which is uh, rooted in black internationalism. I was born on the African continent in what is now the Democratic Republic of the Congo. In the early 1960s, my parents moved to Kinshasa from Haiti. Like many of their generation, they took pride in Haiti being one of the first self-liberated black republics, the first. So in newly independent Zaire, now the DRC, put out a call for help to members of the French-speaking African diaspora communities with much needed academic and other skills, my parents readily responded and made their contribution to the decolonization movement. Secondly, the conference resonates with me and with OSF in the way it advances the global Black Lives Matter movement. The exhortation to teach Africa evokes the lasting contributions of one of my great heroes, Amy Césaire, the Caribbean poet who, along with Jane and Paulette Nardal, Leopold Senghor, and other African diaspora contemporaries, was a respected leader of liberatory learning during an earlier period of transnational foment and Black struggle. Inspired by the intellectual and artistic groundswell of the Harlem Renaissance, the Negritude movement was essentially a radical critique of class and racial domination. Reflecting on the movement's goals in one of his more famous essays, uh, Césaire wrote, For us, the problem is not to make a utopian and sterile attempt to repeat the past, but to go beyond it. And go beyond they did. Whatever its shortcomings, Negritude helped to break new ground in uprooting the European and African imperialist idea, sorry, the European and American imperialist idea of Africa as a place without culture and asserted its own self-determined cultural vision for liberation. This conference is designed to spur momentum along this pressing journey for the sake of our children and therefore our future. I so very look forward with great anticipation to seeing how this will serve as a compass for us. Thank you.